I started building model airplanes when I was 10 years old in Tucson, Arizona, and it's sort of been a love of affair. I, I guess it's almost a sickness. It started way back, uh, like most kids, you start building model airplanes. I didn't have my first airplane ride until I was 21 years old. Ultimately fell in love with it and uh, knew that was where I had to be or where I had to go. So there was never any question that sooner or later I'd be flying and owning airplanes. It was just something that was going to happen. I've got a picture of a pile of scrap. And when you look at that, and then you look at the airplane today, you wonder why in the world would anybody take that pile of scrap and turn it into what it is today? It's a huge task to completely uh, uh, resurrect an airplane. If you find anything old in, its, uh, in parts, you don't challenge what are they, what do they go to, you just buy them and bring them home. The uh, airplane you see behind me is a P-51 Mustang that started out about 12 years ago. On a Saturday afternoon, when a gentleman drove into the airport and asked if we worked on Mustangs. And I said, well, certainly we do. And he said, well, I'd like, to build, like you to build me a Mustang. My next question to him was, well, what do you have? And he says, well, just a minute. And he disappeared and went off to his van and came back a couple minutes later carrying a hydraulic tank and said, here, this is what I have to start with. So, Part of this came off the uh, bottom of a lake in Uruguay, and uh, anyway, 12 years later, we're in the stages of final assembly. Hopefully, the airplane should fly in a couple months. In my mind, the most romantic section of aviation would be that during World War II. Uh, they were marvels of engineering for their time. Too many of our young people don't even know what World War II was. Uh, and I think it's important that they understand that this, this freedom that they enjoy, this tremendous freedom that we all enjoy, was paid for with blood. And a lot of the people that paid for it were flying these wonderful machines. So that's why I do it. You fly these airplanes. You start your turn, you need rudder. You need aileron. You need elevator. You don't just sit there and turn a wheel and make your turn with your feet flat on the floor. Whatever that airplane does, you got to make it do. So it, uh, it's a little more fun, a little more interesting. It's a, it is a, an important facet of our history. It, it, uh, these airplanes represent, the, I think, the best that this country ever produced. You have to re have a great respect for the people that made them, that designed them and built them. Uh, and I think they've turned out works of art. Prop clear. A lot more fun to have one to go play with when you want to, and then work on them when you have to. If we had them just to look at them, there wouldn't be any fun. They're an old airplane and they're supposed to fly.